Okay. Take my token for all I care. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay.
Hey everybody, it's your boy Sugar Nips. I totally didn't forget to record my microphone when we were doing these, which by the way, totally not last minute. We're not doing these last minute in the slightest bit. Let me just say that I'm forgetful, no, 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 no. sure. But uh, we're not doing these last minute, like within the last month or so of development. That'd be silly. That'd be absurd. We're not. No, 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 no. <laughs> silly. Yeah, yeah. Nutty. Anyway, Tentacle Lakers, how about that level, right? Um. Yeah, what a, what a fun level. Uh, we're, we're not, we're, we don't have a script, by the way. What are you talking about? We're reading off a script. This is, uh, this is all part of the script, Dave. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, 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 like the whole, like, confusion right there, that's part of it. And the, yeah. and the fourth wall yeah, so, break right there and here, part of it. Okay. And, so, so fun. Anyways, anyways, Tentacle Acres. So, uh, we needed to introduce, um, some new mechanics for Squidward because Squidward was going to be our, uh, miscellaneous character where we throw him to, into just random scenarios type of deal. Um, and this particular instance, uh, I decided that we would go for more of a puzzle solving approach to spice up the gameplay. So it's not purely just horror, like 24 seven. Um, so we introduced pebble tossing, uh, to hit switches, to break vases, that sort of thing, uh, within the first section. Then after that, we finished and worked on the, uh, uh, surveillance, uh, sort of, uh, scenario where you would go into a camera room and try to guide Patrick throughout the neighborhood of Tentacle Acres, and this was uh, kind of new to me. I never really worked with a camera system before, so uh, programming this was kind of a technological challenge. But eventually, it actually turned out pretty well, and I was uh, proud of how it, you know, came out. Uh, of course, then we have the, the, the signature of this level, the the callback to probably the shittest boss in any SpongeBob game, especially as a final boss, and a lot of SpongeBob games could have bosses in them <laughs> behold iron dogfish a character completely unrelated to the plot of uh super sponge uh we try to emulate as much of his appearance in around the clock as much as possible um that goes for the music which by the way mixon did a great job uh making a recomposition of the Iron yeah, it was a theme. bop. I loved it. It was, it was very much a bop. Um, the uh, mechanics as well were reintroduced. I mean, dogs basically a <laughs> earth bender. <you> know? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean that's uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, and now we're gonna move yeah. on to other recordings. And uh, with this amazing script that we have, um, uh, where we're recording this time properly. And, um, yeah, you know, it's great. It's fun. And please, please make sure your, your audio is recording right now, by the way. Uh, don't worry, bud. It is. It, I made sure. Oh, good. I, I double-checked. 